Hello everyone, my name is Desiree Daniels and welcome to this edition of Red Center Broadcasting. I'm here with my ever charming co-host, James Germain. Thanks for such a warm introduction, Desiree. And now for some breaking news. Inside sources tell us that Bentley University has opened the application process for the RA position for the next year. That's right, James. A campus wide email announced the application process and we sent our best reports into the field to find out more details. Tonight we start with our chief suite correspondent, Connor. My research is the RA will actually brought me down here to the family study room. According to my research, an RA has to have a minimum GPA of 2.5 and at least a sophomore standing to even apply for the position. This is perhaps why the resident assistants at Bentley University are some of the best and brightest that we have to offer. Shh! This is a study room. Desi and James, I think I'm a potential RA applicant. Thanks, Connor. We'll check back in with you later. Wow, that was some dedicated reporting. Now we're going to see how our lead reporter in the apartment is doing. Katrina? Thanks, guys. I'm reporting from the second floor of the Falcone North Apartments, home of some of Bentley's elite upperclassmen. Here with me is RA Brianna Morrissey. Brianna, what does it take to be a great RA? A great RA knows how to balance all of their commitments and can teach others to do the same. They can work in it as a team or independently to get the job done. Sounds like being an RA takes a lot of flexibility and teamwork. Definitely. RAs have to be able to think quick on their feet to face challenges and be able to work with others. So collaborators, quick thinkers, and problem solvers. Would you say that a great RA is nimble? Excellent choice of words. Thank you. That's it for me. Back to you guys in the studio. Nimble. Now there's a word I haven't heard in a while, but it does describe the RA position nicely. Desi, our producer John King is telling me we have some breaking news. It appears as if our first year housing correspondent Jessica is on scene investigating reports that RAs have been characterized as kind, understanding, and warm hearted. Jess, what can you tell us about these reports? Thanks, Desi. I am here on L3 with, with Katie Dolan, a three year veteran RA. Katie, what do you have to tell us about the RA position? Well, Jess, one of the best parts of the job is developing community right here in the halls. And there's nothing more fun than putting on great programs and supporting residents in their personal growth. Wow, that sounds like a huge job for a single RA. How do you do it all? Oh, don't be silly. I don't do this on my own. There are 98 RAs all over campus, and we all work together. And to be an RA, you really need to be a team player. I'm sure we're all going to be friends for the rest of our lives, too. Well, Katie, what do you have to say about the accusations that RAs are warm-hearted, kind, and supportive? Oh, that's definitely true. But why use so many words when you can use the word compassionate? Well, you heard it straight from the source, reporting for the Red, Red Center. My name is Jessica Nago. Back to you. Thank you, Jess, for that insightful report. I think it's safe to say that RAs are role models who are prepared to take on life's challenges. Indeed, they are, James. University administrators tell us that students who, too, think they are prepared for the challenges of being an RA are encouraged to apply. Interested students should attend one of the info sessions that have been scrolling across the bottom of the screen and submit an application by January 25th at 1 p.m. Viewers, it's time to apply. Don't forget to talk to your own RA or go online for more information. Just type resident assistant into the search bar on Bentley's homepage or like the Residential Center on Facebook. Well, we reached the end of our broadcast for tonight. On behalf of everyone at the Red Center, have a great night and a pleasant tomorrow.